So I'm going to run through a series of examples now, uh, maybe four or five examples where uh, I'm going to use the modified AC method, but show you just some of the variations that you might see um, in some of these problems. Okay, so um, on this one, I've got 6y squared minus 23y plus 15. Um, I'm going to go through the modified AC method here, but I'm going to start off just writing out my sets of parentheses. I know that I want to start with a 6y in both of the first terms. I don't know what the constants will be yet because I don't know what the AC value is. So I'm going to start with that, um, or go to that next. Uh, AC, 6 times 15 is, uh, what's 6 times 15? 90, right? That's 90. 6 times 15 is 90. Um, yeah, and then we need factors of 90 that add up to negative 23. So let's just start by listing out some factors. I don't see this one right away. So I'm going to start by listing them out 1 and 90, 2 and 45, 3 and 30. Uh, 4 does not work, 5 does. Uh, that'd be 5 times, um, let me think that one through, 18, is that right? No, yeah, 5 times 18. Um, what else do we have? 5, 6 works, uh, 6 times 15, 7 does not, 8 does not, 9 works, 9 times 10, and then we hit 10 and we're repeating a number on the other side. So that's all of our options. Um, also, because this is positive 90, the signs have to be the same, but I need them to be negative so that they add up to a negative 23. So I'm going to put negatives on everything. And to make 23, negative 23, we're going to have to use the negative 5 and the negative 18. Now, if you had seen that as you were going through, hit that and saw that that was going to work, you wouldn't have to finish the list. Um, I just finished the list so that you could see the whole thing develop. Um, so here we've got minus 5 and minus 18 I will put in as the two constants in the parentheses. Now notice um, with this one, I don't have a greatest common factor in the first two, or the first set of parentheses, but I do in the second one. So I'm just going to pull out the GCF or divide out the GCF there. Um, if I divide by 6, because that's the GCF, uh, we're going to be left with 6y minus 5, and then just y minus 3 as the second set of parentheses. Uh, notice here, if you check your work, or if I check my work, uh, the 6 times the 1 gives me 6, the minus 5, the minus 3 gives me the 15, and then if I go through and do the, the outer and the inner, the outer is minus 18, the inner is minus 5, they add up to the minus 23 in the middle, okay? So this does work out when you expand it. Um, but it's just kind of an interesting example because here we only have um, a, a greatest common factor in the second set of parentheses. We don't have anything in the first. And it, but again, you only have to pull it out if it's there, okay? Um, let's try another example. That one had a decently difficult AC value to work with. Um, let's try 16y squared minus 6y um, minus 27. Well, this one I can already tell is going to be pretty nasty. Uh, I've got to do 16 times 27. Well, what's that going to be? Um, I think I'm going to have to work that one out. 27 times 16. Hang on. Thinking that one through. What's 30 times 16? 480. And then 3 times 16 is 48. So if I took 480 minus 48, I'd get uh, 432. I think that's... 432, if I'm not mistaken, we're going to go with that. 
432 is the AC. Yeah, that should be right. Okay, and so I need to find factors of 432 that add up to a negative 6. Oh, it's also a negative 432, my bad. There we go. 16 and negative 27. And so the factors, um, now I need, need them to add up to a negative 6, so I want the bigger side to be all negative um, rather than the smaller side. So I want 1 and negative 432, that's useless. 2 and negative 2, 16, that's useless. 3, we'll go with a negative 144. Yeah, 3 and negative 144 will work. Uh, that's not going to work yet, actually. Um, 4 would work with a negative 108. 5 won't work. What am I doing? I don't need 5. Uh, 6 will work. Uh, 6 would work if I take that divided by 2. It's 72. 7 won't work. I don't think. No, 8 will work. It will work if I cut that in half, it's 54. Uh, 9 will work. Uh, 9 goes into there. Um, what's that one divided by 3? 48. 48 times, yeah, 9 times 48, that works. Uh, 10 won't work, 11 won't work, 12 will, I think. 12 will work if that one, yeah, divided by 3, that would be 36. 12 and negative 36. Uh, boy, none of these are getting down to a negative 6 when I add them up, right? So I need to keep going, this is a huge list, oh my goodness. Um, 12, let's see, 13 won't work. 14 will work, 15 will not work, 16 will work. 16, if I cut that in half, is 27, minus 27. I'm getting closer, because that difference is 11 now, um, but uh, not quite there. 17 will work, 18 will. If I cut that in half, that's negative 24, and I think that one's going to be the one we're looking for. Um, I could keep going, but I don't need to. 18 with negative 24 gives me the negative 6. And so our parentheses are going to be 16y plus 18 and 16y minus 24. I'm then going to divide out the common factors, which here are just a 2. The first set, and they're going to be an 8 in the second set. Okay, And what you should always have, just as a check, the product of all those common factors should be one of the lead coefficients, right? 2 times 8 is 16. Um, when I divide those out, I'm going to get 8y plus 9 and 2y minus 3. That should be it. We could always double check by multiplying that out. 8 times 2 is 16, 9 times negative 3 is negative 27, and in the middle, negative 24 plus 18 gives me the negative 6. It works. Perfect. It's a beautiful thing when it works. Um, that is a long, messy list right there. Um, there may be quicker ways to do that. Um, there are some using the calculator. I'm not going to go through the details of, but um, I think this is the best that I've found is just working them out. So, okay. Of course, if you had a calculator, which mine's in use right now, um, if you had a calculator, you could punch some of that stuff in and you could come up with those factors a lot faster than what I did mentally, okay? Um, all right, let's try a couple more quick examples. Hopefully they're a little quicker than that one. Now let's do 6x squared uh, plus 14x. Plus three. Okay. Now on this one, I'm going to take again the a times c, which is 18. Six times three is 18. Um, and I want factors.
factors of 18 that add up to 14. So I just start with the list again. Everything's positive, so I don't have to worry about getting a negative in there. Um, I want 1 times 18, 2 times 9, 3 times 6. Those are my only options. When I add these combinations together, uh, I get an 8, I get a 19, I get an 11, and I get a 9, but none of them add up to 14. So that's unfortunate. Actually, it's not unfortunate. It uh, makes this a lot easier. That just means this doesn't factor. There is no possible combination of uh, binomials with integer coefficients that will multiply to give you this. It's kind of like trying to factor the number 13. It just doesn't break apart. Um, neither does this. And so this, because it doesn't break apart, it doesn't factor, we call this prime. This is a prime polynomial. Okay. You will see a handful of these uh, throughout the homework and on a test. They're, they may be in there as well. Um, they're just ones that you can't factor. And the way that you know that it doesn't work is if you um, look for factors of AC that add up to the middle term and you can't find any and, the, and you've, exp you've gone through the whole list, if you've looked at every possible option, then you know that it's prime, okay? Uh, let's take a look at maybe two more quick examples here. Next one uh, gets into some more numbers. We got and some more uh, bigger powers. So, twenty-four x to the fourth um, plus ten x cubed uh, minus four x squared. Okay, so here's one. Um, Remember on a previous video I mentioned that you always want to make sure your greatest common factor is pulled out first before you try the modified AC method. Um, and I think that's a good general principle uh, to think about anytime you approach really any factoring problem. It doesn't have to be just a trinomial, but any factoring problem. If you can pull out a GCF, do that first and then proceed with the rest. So I'm going to do that here. And I haven't really been talking about that in the previous examples. Uh, but that's because there wasn't one. Uh, but here there is one, so I'm going to go ahead and pull that out first. 24, 10, and negative 4 have a common factor of 2. Um, there is also a common factor of x squared in there. So I'm going to pull out the 2x squared. That's going to leave me with 12x squared plus 5x minus 2. Okay, now I've pulled that out. It simplifies things pretty dr uh, drastically. Then I can go through the modified AC method. And so we're going to have AC here. 12 times negative 2 is negative 24. Factors of negative 24 that add up to 5. Um, it's going to be a 3-8 combination, right? 3 and 8 have a difference of 5. One of them's got to be negative. Um, I'm going to try to skip the whole list here because I kind of know the factors of 24 well. Um, I'm going to go with a negative 3 and a positive 8 because that product gives me negative 24, but the bigger one is positive, so the sum is positive 5. And so when I write this out, the modified AC, I go to my two sets of parentheses, I stick the 12x in the first term of each, I put the negative 3 and the positive 8 as the constants, and then I again divide out any greatest common factors. So uh, the first set of parentheses, I divide out a 3. The second set of parentheses, I divide out 4. Together, the 3 and the 4 make the 12, which is what we want. And when I do that, I'm going to end up with 4x minus 1 and 3x plus 2. All right, and so that gives me all of my uh, factors. Here we actually have three factors, a monomial and two binomials. Okay, and you must remember to keep this greatest common factor of 2x squared throughout the problem. You don't want to lose that at the end. If you didn't have that at the end, um, these two factors would not be sufficient. Um, you would be missing a, a very important piece there. Okay? Um, let's try one more example. This one's going to be a little bit...
the different Do two x to the sixth plus eleven x cubed uh, plus fifteen. Okay, so now in this last example, I don't have the normal x squared and x terms. I do have the constant down in the end, and that's okay. Um, what you do need to have is a ratio of 2 to 1 to 0 in the power, right? So if you were to set up a ratio 6 to 3, that's a 2 to 1 ratio when it reduces, right? So this leading term has to be twice as big as the middle term, and the last one has to be a constant. And as long as you have the 2 to 1 to 0 ratio between the powers, then you can actually go through the modified AC method um, the same as you normally would, you just have to make sure that the middle power is what you put in the first two terms. And so I would have 2x cubed and 2x cubed as my first two terms. That way the x cubes multiply to give me the x to the sixth. Everything else will work out the same. Um, the, so then the modified AC, I've got to figure out what AC is. In this case, 2 times 15 is 30. Factors of 30 to add up to 11. I'm just running through my brain here. It's going to be 5 and 6. I don't need the other ones. Uh, 5 and 6, everything's positive, so I don't have to worry about negatives being in there. It's going to be a plus 5, a plus 6. I don't have any common factors in the first set, but I do in the second, so we're going to divide out the two that's common there. And in the end, we'll have 2x cubed plus 5 times x cubed plus 3. Okay, again, um, the x cubed is what we need in those first two terms, and if I were to multiply or distribute this out, I would get the 2 to 1 to 0 ratio in the powers like we have at the beginning, okay? And so you can do this. Uh, your textbook um, probably has you do something called a substitution where they have you replace the x cubed. Um, they'll do something like make, make u equal to x cubed and do a substitution in there so that this is... Uh, u squared is x to the 6, and then you replace everything, and I'm not going to have you bother with the substitution thing. Um, I think it's a little bit more tedious. As long as you know, as a principle, that you have a 2 to 1 to 0 ratio in the powers, the modified AC will work just fine, as long as the middle power is the one that goes in your parentheses.